Welcome to the second in a series of instructional videos explaining how to successfully install and commission the SolarEdge Home Hub Inverter. In this video, we'll guide you through how to safely wire the SolarEdge Home Hub Inverter. Let's start by preparing the wiring tools. Let's identify the inverter interfaces located at the bottom of the inverter. PV strings inputs, communication gland 1, on-off P-switch, communication gland 2, battery DC terminal, LED indicators, and lastly, the AC input. Now, let's open the inverter cover. Please note the correct order of unscrewing the 10 Allen screws holding the inverter cover and remove it carefully. The inverter cover is heavy. Use one hand to hold it and the other hand to unscrew the Allen screws. First, Let's connect the communication cable between the battery and the inverter. This is established using the CAN bus protocol. Open the communication gland 2 and pass the CAN bus connector and cable through the gland. Please note the cable size and the gland pass through. Connect the cable to the CAN bus connector located close to the gland. Now we move on to learn how to connect the inverter to AC. Use a five wire cable. The maximum wire size for the input terminal blocks is six square millimeters. Open the AC cable gland. Insert the AC cable through the AC gland. Thread the AC cable through the ferrite bead supplied with the inverter. Strip 100 mm of the external cable insulation and strip 8 mm of the internal wire insulation and crimp the wire ferrules. Connect the AC cable to the AC terminals. Please note the marking on the connectors. Connect the grounding wire first. Tighten the terminal block screws. Check that the wires are fully inserted and cannot be pulled out easily. Tighten the AC cable gland. This seven pin connector is used to connect the backup interface or the energy meter. In case you have a backup interface, use a five wire cable to connect it to the inverter in the following scheme. If you don't have a backup interface in your system, use a three wire cable to connect the meter to the same connector in the following scheme. For both options, SolarEdge recommends using a CAT5 cable. In this video, we will show the backup interface connection. Now connect the other side of the cable to the inverter. Open communication gland 1 and insert it through the gland. Take out the 7-pin connector. After connecting the wires, place the connector back. In order to connect the inverter to the monitoring platform, use Ethernet to connect to the system owner router. For Wi-Fi or cellular installation, look in the SolarEdge application note for Wi-Fi and cellular application. If connecting more than one inverter through RS-485, use this terminal block to connect it. Connect the inverter cover back. Please note the correct order of tightening the screws. Now, let's connect the ground and DC cables to the battery. Take the DC connection kit out of the box. Make sure that all battery modules circuit breakers are off before making any connection to the inverter. Please note the polarity as noted on the connection kit and that the snap is facing you. Open the cable gland nuts and pass the battery DC cables through the glands. Now, connect the DC cables with the supplied screws. Please note the polarity, as noted also on the inverter. The correct assembly order of the washers is to first assemble the flat washer, then the spring, and finally place the bolt. Open the securing screw, but not all the way. 
just enough so the connection kit may pass without damaging the ceiling ring. Insert the kit box until you hear a click. Fasten the securing screw. Close the secure glands. Connect the grounding cable between the inverter and the battery. Now, connect the string to the DC input pairs. Please note the polarity. Connect the DC connectors of each string to the DC minus and DC plus connectors until you hear a clicking sound. Well done! You've now successfully wired the SolarEdge Home Hub Inverter. To complete the installation, watch the SolarEdge Home Hub Inverter commissioning video.